How are we doing today? Um, so we're gonna be cooking a ribeye. Um, so basically the only ingredients that you're gonna need obviously is your ribeye. Um, I do Himalaya salt. We have black pepper, um, butter to kind of finish it off with, and then olive oil, your pan, <clears throat> and then I use tongs. Some people use forks and stuff to flip it, whatever you're more comfortable with. So we're gonna go ahead and start heating the pan. Um, so I'll heat it between four to five right now. I'm not gonna put the olive oil in yet. Um, kind of just heat that up. We'll go ahead and season the steak. Um, so I already took it out, patted it dry and everything. Um, and so there's kind of two ways to season it. I always dump it straight on. I've seen ways though, where you can actually put the seasoning on whatever you're seasoning it on and put the seasoning on it and then put the steak on it and flip it and season it that way. Um, I don't do that. I've done it before. I do it. I do that way if you're cooking four, five, six at a time, but normally with just one, I just season it straight up. Um, so we're going to do salt and pepper on each side. Um, kind of just rub it in and we'll flip it. Same thing again. And then you can use the excess that kind of fell off to put it around your steak to get all the edges. And we're gonna let this sit right here real quick. I'm gonna wash my hands. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down to about two. Put some oil in real quick. Pretty generous with the oil. And then we'll kind of let the it disperse throughout the pan. Let that heat up real quick. Alrighty. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the ribeye in. So when you want to do it, you're gonna want to lay it, um, like lay it down against you. So we're going to go away from us, lay it down. Alrighty. And when I put it in, I kind of just move it around a little bit. Um, I always do it for, like, I don't know. I just don't like when it sticks to it. I know sometimes if it sticks, um, when it's done cooking, it releases. But I don't ever really do that. And so I'm using a um, stainless steel pan. I have a cast, I have two cast iron skillets. I don't really cook with them anymore. I used to always cook my steak with them. Um, I don't know, now I just don't really enjoy cooking with it. Um, I don't know why, maybe one day I'll start doing it again, but for now, um, I just always stick with my stainless steel uh, pan. Um, so I eat my steaks medium rare. So right now, we'll basically let it sit for about a minute and a half, minute 45. Go ahead and flip it, same thing, minute half, minute 45. Um, and we'll do that on and off for about five ish minutes. And then the last like minute, I like to let it, I put, that's when I put the butter in. Um, so it really depends. Obviously I'm not going to put a whole stick of butter. I'll kind of cut off however much I want and throw it in. Some people do a little, some people actually do a lot. Um, I tend to always do about a tablespoon and a half to about a tablespoon. Um, if I have more steak in there, so if I was cooking one for me and Don Maurice, I'd probably do a little bit more butter. Um, I also sometimes put garlic in there. I haven't been doing that recently. I actually, I think I threw my garlic away. Um, so you can actually do a lot more in there at once. But yeah. But yeah, the only reason I really even started posting to my YouTube channel again, I had two videos up there. It was of me playing baseball though. And so I ever didn't really use my channel. I'd always wanted to upload gaming clips from when I play Xbox and I clipped some of my clips. I always wanted to post them on YouTube, never really did. Uh, me and my brother had talked about kind of creating a YouTube channel years ago. Um, once again, we never really did. So now I'm trying to at least use it a little bit more. 
now that everyone's kind of dispersed out, we got family in South Carolina, North Carolina, Wisconsin, I'm in Texas. Um, so it's a nice little fun way to kind of connect and everyone can watch your videos and stuff. My dad has a cooking channel. My dad's pretty good at cooking. I don't know if he's better than me. I do enjoy cooking. Um, but we're going to flip this now. Um, it's been about a minute and a half, minute 45. So we're going to flip this. But yeah, so I don't really know what I'll post. I'll probably post more video game footage than anything. Um, but I do enjoy cooking. It's like a hobby to me. It's relaxing. I normally listen to podcasts when I cook. And Don Maurice doesn't really know how to cook, so I have to tend to cook everything. Um, so I'm always trying to cook new stuff and just play with, with what I'm cooking and see if it's good or not. But yeah, ribeyes are... are one of our favorite food, I know when we lived in Lacrosse, we would eat ribeyes probably every other day um, for about three, four months we did. Growing up, we kind of always ate ribeyes. It was always the steak my dad would cook. Um, so I guess it just kind of translated over to uh, now me and my brother always eat ribeyes. And so, yeah. So there's a few different ways I actually cook ribeyes. Um, I'll cook it like this on a pan. Um, I have a Ninja Air Fryer that I've cooked in it before I've cooked a steak. Uh, my dad actually cooks some that way when he's working for his lunch. Just because you don't have to mess with it. You just flip it every once in a while. You don't really have to stand over it. Um, and then you can do it on the grill. I just have a little little baby grill um, for me and Don Maurice because I'm not cooking too much at once. Um, I would say out of all the ways though, I do like cooking it on the pan the best. I will say cooking it on the grill um i have a charcoal grill so it does tend to give it a little bit more flavor um in the way it crisps it and kind of blackens it um i don't know i've always just liked the pan though i think it comes out a lot better in the pan and then the air fryer it's not bad but um i don't tend to cook in the air fryer i know when i was at my grandma's on vacation um i cooked about two or three ribeyes in the air fryer and it was good but i don't know it's just not that fun to cook it that way to me you don't get to see it cook We'll go ahead and flip this side. So you don't want to cook it too hot. Um, I know then it tends to overcook your steak faster. Um, and cooking it too hot, I don't know, I've always found a struggle with. So I try to, our burners burn really hot. So like as you, I think this is the front one. As you can see, the high is like, it's not even that big, but as you go down, it doesn't really change in variation that much to me. So I feel like it always burns hotter. Um, so a lot of the time I have to stay at two or low um, to really cook at the temperature I want. But yeah, I do like having a gas gas oven and stove top to cook with. I always hated cooking with an electric stove top. I'm gonna flip this again.
Go ahead and get the butter ready. So I'm gonna do just right at like a teaspoon, a tablespoon. Quick. I'm gonna flip this one more time. Go ahead and put the butter in. Alrighty, we're gonna get a spoon. Kind of move the butter around in it. And then we're just gonna kind of drizzle it over the steak as we go. I do about 15, 20 ish seconds per side, and then I just kind of let it sit in the butter. Um, but yeah, you just throw it around everywhere on it. And we're going to flip it. Do the same thing for this side. I don't want to get it everywhere. And then we'll let it sit there for just a second. You don't want to burn the butter. And then we'll just do the, the side, this side real quick with the fat on it. Um, Kind of render that a little bit. All right, now we'll go ahead and take it out. We'll cover it with some aluminum foil. And then I'll let it sit roughly eight to 10-ish minutes um, just to let it rest. Um, but yeah, that's how I cook my ribeyes. That's how I cook majority of my ribeyes. Um, I always let them rest. Um, so it's kind of the same concept when you're done with them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, stay tuned.